So let's talk about Joe Kennedy and the Democrats' response to the uh, State of the Union address. Um, he did all right. Joe Kennedy, welcome to the Democratic Party. Um, you, <laughs> the speech was fine. The speech was fine. I, I, I'm, I'm just seeing a lot right now, the immediate responses from people, and people are loving it. And sure, my thing with him is he said all the right things, but he sounded like such a politician. I don't know if I believe him. And when I say sounded like a politician, is what I'm trying to say is I don't... Everything he said, I agree with, but I don't know if he agrees with it or he just got that speech literally an hour before and read it like a politician would read it. And if you don't, just watch how he pauses in these sentences. And it's just, it's not natural. It doesn't sound authentic. Just, just you watch. Angry. Afraid. We all feel the fractured fault lines across our country. We hear the voices of Americans who are forgotten and feel forsaken. So as you can see, he sounds super, super polished, polished with all these crazy long pauses. And I know you have to wait for the, the claps and that's how you know public speaking is supposed to be done. But like I said, I can't, I don't feel it. I hear it, I agree with it, but I don't feel it. And I know that's asking for much. So I'm not putting him down. I'm not putting him down. I'm just telling you yeah, that speech, that response, Super generic, number one. Number two, he doesn't actually talk about the State of the Union address. He says nothing specific about the address. This speech could have been written a week ago. I don't know what speech is talking about. If I didn't watch a State of the Union address, this would have been a great speech. But I'm like, okay. What about the actual State of the Union address are you talking about here? This is just general, really, really big picture stuff. No details, no comebacks, no what Trump said here was wrong and this is what we're going to do about it. It's just general spewing of randomness. And I think the most specific thing that he talked about is the one thing that I absolutely loved. And that thing was that argument he made about how the Republicans and Trump specifically are trying to pit Americans together. I'm trying to pit, you know, people from the cities from, to the people in the suburbs, uh, suburbs, to the people in the Midwest, right, in rural areas. Trying to pit, you know, the rich for the poor, trying to pit just Americans, different races, different cultures against one another. I thought that was his greatest moment and just, just watch it and I really did. That was the one time I was like, I thank you. So here. We are bombarded with one false choice after another. Coal miners or single moms? Rural communities or inner cities? The coast or the heartland? As if the mechanic in Pittsburgh, a teacher in Tulsa, and a daycare worker in Birmingham are bitter rivals rather than mutual casualties of a system forcefully rigged towards those at the top. As if the parent who lies awake terrified that their transgender son or daughter will be beaten and bullied at school is any more or less legitimate than a parent whose heart is shattered by a daughter in the grips of an opioid addiction. So here is the, dem is the answer that Democrats offer tonight. We choose both. So I love that. Um, but the, at the end of the day, he did not propose any policy. He did not specifically mention anything that Trump said throughout the address. It was super generic. He sounded like a really like bland. No, that's a lie. It's not bland. He's a good politician, but he would be a good politician if he wasn't compared to politicians like Bernie Sanders, um, Elizabeth Warren, like Obama, really, because Obama was a great speaker, right? If Obama had this speech, it would have sounded a lot better, and that's just the truth. He was a better speaker than Joe Kennedy is. Joe Kennedy is young, he's new, he's... I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy he's on my team, I'm happy he's on my side. The bottom line is, I just don't think I agree with him. I don't believe I agree with him. I agree with everything he says. I just don't believe him. I don't feel the authenticity. It's not real. It's just words. Because I've heard millions and millions and millions and millions of politicians say the same damn shit he's saying. All day, every day. That's all they say until they actually get in office and they do jack shit. That is my point. How I don't believe that he's going to go into office and fight 
you know, tooth and nail for these things to actually come true. Super generic, no policy, and I don't believe him yet. Moving forward, if he goes on to fight like this throughout his entire career as a politician, I'm ready to jump on that Joe Kennedy train. But until then, he just sounds like another politician um, that was given a really good speech to read. Congratulations, Joe. I love it, Mr. Kennedy. I love it. I love it. I, I really hope it's real, but we'll find out.